Today I'm back as a fish, except I'm in space. Ah! <laughs> yep, you guys heard me right. In the last episode, I was reading your guys' comments, and a couple of you guys were saying that there is a secret bonus level where Chuck... Flippy, Bubbles, and Mr. Puffball have to escape the International Space Station. Uh, look outside of this window. There's a spaceship, and there's the Earth, and the Sun, <laughs> and there's Flippy. We also got Mr. Puffball and Bubbles kind of sitting together, staring out at the ocean because they miss the ocean. In the last episode, we literally destroyed an entire city to get all of these four fish back together in the ocean, and now we're in space. Next thing you know, we're gonna have all four fish on ice, and they're gonna be singing songs in a musical. Now, unfortunately, it looks Looks like Chuck has been trapped inside of this space station cube that has some red things on it. And since I'm a professional fish now, I know that Flippy should be able to rip through those red things and free Chuck. The only problem is we need to figure out a way to get Flippy to Chuck in order to rip those things off of Chuck. Mr. Puffball, now is your time to shine. Okay, so we should be able to use Mr. Puffball in order to open this. There we go. That's a good big boy. Swim along, Flippy. <laughs> Mr. Puffball might be my favorite. <laughs> he just looks so derpy. Okay, so now that we've done that, we should be able to switch back to Flippy. And we, I think, can just open this. Let's try it out. Or we'll not... Okay, yeah, we, we did open it. I thought it was just going to go up, but I forgot that Flippy is a psychopath and doesn't really do things gently. He just ripped off that entire door. That's a good little Flippy. Let's do it again. <laughs> One door down. <laughs> Two doors dead. <laughs> I'll never get tired of Flippy. It's the magic golden seashell. Thank you, Magic Golden Seashell, for showing me where to go. Okay, so we're in some sort of control room, and I found the bread. Speaking of bread, you guys also mentioned that this game studio that created the game also created the game called I Am Bread. So if you guys really do want me to try that out on the channel, all you gotta do is grab a piece of toast or bread and slap the like button with it. If you do it correctly, it'll turn blue. Flippy, we're gonna have to turn this nozzle here. Just flip it around. Good work, Flippy. And now, whoa, wait, they have pipes in the International Space Station. Where are we? Wait, is this just a bubble? I am literally just inside of a space bubble. And since there's no gravity in space, there's no way for the water to move. The water sort of just forms together and it creates these random spheres that are just made up of water. How do I know this? Because I watch a lot of space videos. The surface tension of the water actually keeps keeps it all together. Wait a second, look, it's Chuck. Chuck, look, it's Flippy. Flippy, it's Chuck. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. Save Chuck, Flippy. Rip that, rip it down, rip it down. Flip it, flip it, Flippy. There you go. Okay, slowly, steadily, aggressively, and rip it. Nailed it. All right, cool. Well, now that we did that, wait. Oh, what? Uh, Chuck is in a water cube that is able to freely go around. This is sick. All right, sweet. So uh, there's some red things around, and red things normally means you can break them. Uh, I just created a brand new bubble. I see another one down there. Get it? Yes. <laughs> red pipe explode. Okay, Flippy, now you actually have a path to try travel to so we can go from there to there from that bubble to this bubble should i go inside of the tubes then probably not yo let's go to that big bubble over here good work chuck okay now i should be able to use flippy in order to grab this and unleash the vault and we've opened the next room i see the seashell in there but i'm not entirely sure where to go next luckily we have chuck for that chuck can just go around the entire area without having to worry about running out of oxygen i'm also not entirely sure if chuck can survive in here forever because there's no plants plants are the things that make oxygen even for fish too eventually water runs out of oxygen so so we should probably move a little bit faster if we want to get Chuck back alive to the ocean. We'll make another bubble there. Bust open this door, Chuck. Come on. Nice work, Chuck. Chuck has made me very much want to get a fish. I want a fish and I want it to look like Chuck. I'm a little bit nervous that if I do that, <laughs> uh, my fish named Chuck will try to run away from me or it will attempt to eat all of my bread. Chuck has made it safely to the next room, huh? which, uh, all right, this is definitely a pretty cool room. I'm just not entirely sure where to go from here. Here. And also, how am I supposed to get all the other fish here? Bubbles and Mr. Puffball are still out here just gazing at the ocean. Bubbles, get your head in the game, man. Stop flipping around. He's just doing a dance. Meanwhile, Mr. Puffball's looking all cute. Let's bring them around the International Space Station through the International Space Tubes. And we should just be able to go directly towards the giant space bubble. And then I think from here, uh, we should just have like a straight shot down to this bubble. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. Okay. Wait, we can actually somewhere 
somewhat fly with bubbles. Yes. All right, next up, we got Flippy. Flippy's gonna be a little bit of a different story. I'm gonna have to snipe Flippy through those two pipes. Let's do it. Oh, I nailed that. No, I didn't. No, why did I think I nailed that? That wasn't even close. Bro, my brain just did not work. Respawn. Wait, what? Oh, wait. Because I got the golden seashell, it thought that I already got all the fishies here. I didn't even have to get Mr. Puffball here on my own. I love hacks. All right, sweet. So we've made it to this next room, right? Which means that we're one step closer to figuring out a way to get to the rocket ship that should take us back to the ocean. The problem is, I don't know exactly where to go from here. So the bread's over in this corner, but the bread is normally kind of hidden in the I am fish levels. So that's not going to help. There's a ladder system up there, and it looks like there's a red thing, but for whatever reason, it's kind of far away and it's on the other side of the glass. So I'm not able to grab that. I have no idea where to go. What do I do? Chuck, do something, man. Stop flipping around. Think, Jack, think. We need a brain blast. We need a fish blast. Wait, guys. Okay, so directly in front of me, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a little hole and it looks like I might be able to slingshot Flippy through there. We're gonna do it in three, two, one. Oh, nope. I just concussed Flippy. <laughs> he does not look okay. Okay, we need to go a little bit deeper here in three, two, one launch. Oh, <gasps> yo, that was it. That was that. Yes, we did it. Okay, now that we're through here, we should be able to yeet our way over to the next one. Yes, Flippy. Hopefully, Flippy was the correct fish, and I won't need to use Mr. Puffball or Bubble special abilities in order to get to the next area because this is kind of a little bit difficult. Flippy, don't worry. You got this. This is a small step for fish kind, but a giant step for fish manity. Go. <laughs> that didn't make any sense. Nailed it. I see the checkpoint. Okay, this should work. Work. Let's do it in three, two, one. Yes. Nice work, Flipster. Okay, so now that we're up here, we should be able to use this. And do we twist these open? No. I was so busy trying to twist it open that I forgot that I was in an air bubble and then I twisted my entire body to death. But yet again, the hacks have worked and now everybody is up here. Normally, you're not supposed to press giant red buttons, but I'm going to do it. Wait, there's multiple big red buttons. And I have no idea which one I'm supposed to press. Wait, what was that? Uh, all right. Well, that did something. I think that we're in the pilot room. Look, there's a chair. And wait a second, we're probably in the escape shuttle right now. Yeah, look, there's two seats, and it looks like if I hit all of the red buttons, we should be able to escape. Wait a second, look, on the screen, there's an Earth re-entry checklist. So I need to close the cargo bay doors, flip the override switch, and then hold the override button. Bro, these things are not labeled. How do I know which is which? Wait, I have to go on a spacewalk. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. We are in space. Chuck has taken on space. Wait, this is officially my favorite level of the entire game. This is crazy. <laughs> Look at it. It's just Earth. This is beautiful. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 no. No, 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 Okay. For whatever reason, I guess I got too far and I was gonna die. I refuse to die. Okay, the first step in the checklist is to nail this button. Come on. Come on, Chuck. Nice work, Chuck. I knew I could count on Chuck. Even though Chuck doesn't have special abilities like the other fishies, he is still extremely smart. And he's the one that started this whole thing. Did I do it? Did I do it? Okay, we, we've hit a bunch of different buttons, but I don't know exactly if we did them in the right order. Wait a second. I completely missed this button over here. Oh, nailed it. Okay, we need to be on the lookout for more giant red buttons so that I can press them and then we can escape. I feel like I should probably hit these lever systems because they are red, which means that I probably have to do something with them. Okay, now that we have the two buttons activated outside, let's see what happens if I press this. Okay, I think that we're actually closing the cargo doors right now. Wait, yes! Okay, we did it! I don't know if you guys can see, but over there in the distance, one of the, yeah, the closed cargo bay doors has been checked off. So next thing we have to do is flip the override switch. This definitely looks like a job for Mr. Puffball. Mr. Puffball, I'm gonna need you to inflate your body and ye- Nice. Was that number two? Flip the override switch. That might actually be the hold override button. So I don't know if we're supposed to do that quite yet. Let's see what happens if we hit this giant red button over here. No, nothing there. Okay, I don't think we're quite ready for liftoff. Wait, I see the switch. And we are going to need the talents of Flippy in order to flip it. Okay, this is going to be very difficult. Okay, I'm gonna go up to this one. And then somehow I need to nail it right down there. Wait a second, maybe I can go down in this one. Please tell me this is something. Yes! Okay, now we can go up and then we can go straight across and then right here is the, yes, this is the switch. Flippy, Flippy, Flippy. Focus, Flippy, focus, Flippy. I know you want cookies, bro, just focus. There you go, okay, we need you to flip that up. Flip that up for me, Flippy. I know we're in a tight space, but we need to get back to the ocean. Do not go out there into no gravity zone. No gravity zone is bad. Focus, fish. Oh, we, come on, come on now. <gasps> yes! Flippy did it. I love you, Flippy. Okay, now we need to hold the override button. 
which I think is Mr. Puffball's job to go like this. Okay, now we can go back to Chuck. Final phase. Press the autopilot button. Chuck, now is your time to shine, baby. Let's go. Yes. Look at it. We're taking off. Who knew that four fish would be able to escape the International Space Station. Uh, go ahead, grab a fish, slap the like button, and hit that subscribe button. And I also want you guys to comment down below other games that I should play on the channel.